Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh sister. So you're experiencing some difficulties uh, with the relationship with your mother. Um, it seems that um, your mother does have some narcissistic traits and certainly some of the things that you outline in your question um, do point towards this. Um, may Allah guide her. Um, it actually sounds like to some extent a lot of what you're being subjected to here on some level might be classed actually as abuse, emotional abuse, um, which I'm sure you know is not acceptable. It doesn't make things easy for you. Um, and maybe, you know, in emotionally things are not okay for her either. Um, but that doesn't make it okay. It's not okay to behave like that, especially towards those who are close to you. And often um, what, is, what happens in cases like this is when somebody has such traits or is going through difficulties, the natural tendency is to um, turn to those around us who love us unconditionally and take it out on them, um, which is not okay, but it's just kind of the way people do things because you know that those around you who love you unconditionally are not going to respond in the same way that some that uh, the same way as somebody who who doesn't love you who is not there for you so this is kind of the natural way to go but it doesn't make it okay i just want to make clear that that doesn't make it okay just because it happens often it doesn't make it okay and certainly a lot of the things that you mention about your mother's behavior towards you are not okay such as making a joke of you towards other people that's not okay um and mashallah you're you're responding um, in a in a very kind way to her, despite you know the way she's treating you, um, and Alhamdulillah, you've, you've um, stepped forward to get some advice on this. Um, may Allah reward you for doing that and for you know not responding in a negative way to to the way she's treating you. Um, this is this is the way forward, but it also again, like I said, it's not the way she should be treating you. But just to kind of answer the last thing there, um, what should you do to make things easier on your mother and yourself? And in terms of should you lose your existence by being an extension of your mother and not an individual being? Definitely not. I wouldn't advise that. Your your own self. You can't ever be held accountable for her deeds and neither can she for you. So you're your own person. You're accountable for your own deeds. So definitely that's not the solution. Um, you are your own self. Focus on this and bettering yourself for the sake of Allah. You know, you do as you will, not as she will. Um, but certainly, of course, as you mentioned, you, your mother does have rights upon you and you do need to fulfill them. But that doesn't make it okay for her to abuse that um, those rights. And also you must remember that you have rights over her too. She should also be treating you well too. One thing I like to advise in situations like this to help both the the person who is possibly being abusive and the person who is is being subjected to this is to actually take a break from one another is to you need that space um for positivity go and be around people um who who you can have you know that it's okay for you to be with that you can have a nice time with you can have a positive time with might be some extended family members or friends just for a couple of days to get that space to be away from that negativity of your mother and you know to have that space to reflect on you know actually the situation to be able to think more rationally as well you know when you're in the situation it can be easy to respond irrationally so to give yourself that space but also give your mother the space to reflect on her behavior as well and it might be your absence then that makes her realize the way she's treating you and how this is not okay. So just to give you both that space to reflect, to have that positivity and that space away, but also reflect away from the situation as well. And this can, you know, this can help you both move through it individually, but also give you that space to reflect and then maybe come together again. And, you know, maybe things will start improving this way, make, make this um, a regular event um, that you do, you know, however often that you're able to, whether it's once a month, every other month or so on, even if just for a weekend, to help try and um, encourage uh, positive relations between you through a process of, you know, reflecting individually as well. So I guess the important thing is for you to know that her behaviours are not okay, even though she's your mother, and for you to... Um, not not um, become kind of at one with her, but actually to, um, you know, continue on your own individual path as well. That's really important for you to establish yourself, um, to fulfill her rights, but not to let her abuse 
them as well. May Allah reward you for reaching out and for not responding um, irrationally towards her in response to her negative behavior. May Allah reward you very much for that because that's a very difficult thing to do. May he guide her on the right path and may he um, place love between your hearts that you'll be both kind to each other and your relationship will get stronger and become uh, one of love and compassion towards each other as well. So may Allah make you both the coolness of each other's eyes in both this life and the next and may he reward all the struggles that you have faced with her and grant you the best in both this life and the next.